Well, hello everybody. I took my rotating assembly into the machine shop to get balanced. Uh, it's going to take a couple of weeks, so I'm waiting. So while I'm waiting for that to come back, I thought I'd do some preliminary installation of the valves and uh, find out how many shims I need to get the correct installed height on my valve springs. Uh, I'm going to be setting them at about 55 pounds so I will show you what I'm doing but just as a as a forward here uh, I'm definitely not a professional mechanic this is the first time I've built a V8 engine and the first time I've messed with valves so take it for what it's worth but I'll show you how I'm doing it anyway okay so what I'm using is I'm using some uh, manly stainless steel uh, small block Chevy valves one and a half inch diameter 1.5's um, I have some new valve guides I bought from Red's Headers new uh, Zephyr Springs that I purchased from Red's Headers uh, new little uh, retainer locks and I'll explain this retainer here in a minute so when I first did the first few installs uh, I had purchased some regular valve retainers stock valve retainers from Reds and uh, found that with the 55 uh, pounds of spring pressure that I wanted I would have had to add quite a few shims and this particular one is uh, six 60,000 shims uh, so I was uh, doing some research and I was reading a thread on the ham uh, board and stroke had done a really good informative thread called um, porting soup to nuts so I read that thread got some information from him and decided to uh, reduce the number of shims that I would have to install by purchasing some uh, comp cams number 743-16 retainers and when they came in they were quite a bit larger in diameter than this um, I took them to work I put them on the lathe I turned this and well you can see the shiny part where I cut it turn that area down to one inch in diameter uh, or the same diameter as my springs were and what that does is that allows me to reduce the number of shims because the difference in thickness between the stock and the comp cams retainers um, the comp cams is thicker so it reduces the amount of springs or shims that I have to put on here hope that made sense to you alright so anyway that's what I ended up doing modifying all the comp cams retainers and that's what I'll be using I'm still going to have to install some shims, but uh, not as many. All right, so let me show you the process that I've been using. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna install the valve guide onto the valve, install the retainer, um, these little locks. Make sure that's nice and tight and then I will install that in the block. All right, so I'm gonna slide the valve assembly into the block. Now I'm gonna install this horseshoe clip on uh, my valve guide. I'm gonna push the valve guide all the way up to the top and I'm pushing the valve all the way down. And then what that does, I'll I'll uh, take these dividers and measure the distance between uh, the top of the retainer where the spring sits on and the bottom of the valve guide where the spring sits on or rests against. Okay, I'll measure that and that gives me this measurement here.
and to measure the spring pressure in pounds what I've done is I've installed an old flathead valve in there in my chuck for the drill press I took that measurement uh, and I set my drill press stop to where I get, get a good like a feeler gauge feel to that measurement okay now that gives me the same height that it would be when the spring is installed in the block or installed height um, and then I would I put a bare spring on there and measure the pressure at that installed height. This particular spring is 23 pounds without any shims. Um, so I can just, you know, I can add a shim, remeasure it, and it's up to 29, and so on. So from doing this previously, I'll set the number of shims I need on there. I'll check the pressure and I'm setting mine to 55 this is at 56 so that's within a pound it's close enough for me so that's how I measure the installed height pressure on the spring and I come back over remove the horseshoe clip pull the valve assembly out Remove the retainer. And I'll take my spring with the shims. This particular one is three sixty thousandths, one thirty thousandths, and one fifteen thousandths shim. Put that on there. Put my spring, the retainer. And there I have the assembly ready to go. And just to store them temporarily, I'm going to install them in my block. I still have to take them all apart, wash them up, clean them before final assembly. But this lets me keep track of what I've done so far. Then I just go ahead and install it. And then move on to the next one and keep repeating. All right. Well, thanks for watching.